years ago, even when I was, you know, in my first few years of practice, the majority of entertainment lawyers would take artists right off the street, hot demo in hand, you'd work out a contingency deal since they may not be able to pay you up front, therefore you act as an agent and an attorney. And for that purpose, you go around, you run to the record companies, play the demo to the A&R guys, somebody gets geeked, they really like what they hear, and you might have had a deal. But given the nature of the business these days and how it's changed dramatically over the past five years, deals are fewer to come by. They're harder to find. When you do find them, a lot of times they are for uh, financial terms that are not as lucrative as they were five, ten, or more years ago. And the labels are becoming more selective. So they're telling acts and producers and artists these days, and even lawyers and managers, come to us when you have something that is already bubbling in the market. Come to us at the point where you've got some radio spins, we've got some sound scan record sales that we can verify on computer, where you have some media uh, coverage that they can visibly see that you're out in the market. They want to know that you're an artist that the market is respecting, asking for, uh, that you have a hit single, not so much that you're just talented in general, but you have a hit single that the public is reacting to and that might be working at radio, that they can pick up on your efforts and keep going. So at the stage today, the majority of lawyers are not taking brand new artists whose product has to be shopped because the shopping process is, is almost non-existent. Um, and therefore, that leaves the artist to be more resourceful. It requires more of a financial commitment, more of a marketing commitment. And then usually at the point where those initial efforts are done by the artists and their production and management team and there's a buzz going, then you'll begin to get some, hopefully, some responses, some positive responses back from record companies that'll say, you know what, we've been watching you, we've been monitoring what you're doing, we like what we see, let's sit down and talk. And at that point, for, my, for myself, that's when I get involved these days, and that's where a lot of attorneys will then get involved because they're not acting as an agent. They're really acting as an attorney, as a negotiator, as a business advisor, a legal counselor. And we come in and we pick up you know, that interest, see if it's real, sit down, and then facilitate the necessary meetings to move the deal forward, talk to the business affairs and legal departments at the label, structure and negotiate the deal, get it closed, get everybody paid, and get in the studio.